What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tiny Track Cars. Today we have a 16 car Lamborghini tournament and we're gonna meet the cars in just a second. But as we go through them, I want you to pick your favorite and drop it in the comments and follow along and see if your car wins this tournament. Here we go. All right, here's our 16 car Lamborghini bracket. Let's go ahead and go over and meet group one. We have the green Lamborghini Yardo, the Lamborghini Estoque, the Aventador J in blue, that's a beautiful car. And then probably one of the crowd favorites here, the Lamborghini Huracan. Also, I'm sorry if I pronounced some of these wrong. I'm learning them as I go. And group two, we got another Gallardo in white. A Lamborghini Reven Reventon, Lamborghini Mura, and another Huracan Coupe. Heading over to group three, we have one of my personal favorites and the one, the one I'm gonna be rooting for is the Sesto Elemento, followed by the Lamborghini Cyan. Then we have a Lamborghini Urus, and I guess that's a reddish orange color there. And then the Lamborghini Giardo again. We have a few Giardos in here. Those should do pretty well. And then in group number four, we have the Centenario, the Countach, that one's got a metal base, it should be pretty fast. That's one to look out for. Another one of my favorites here is the second Sesto Elemento. And then lastly, a yellow Lamborghini Huracan as well. Like I said, pick your favorite and drop it in the comments. We'll see if you pick the right car to win this tournament. One car from each group will move on to the finals. Those four cars will battle and we'll have one winner at the end of the Lamborghini tournament. Let's hop right into group one. All right, we got the green Gallardo in the far lane. That is the pole position. They stoke in the close lane close. So let's, let's see who wins it. The Gallardo showing his speed with the Stoke right in his tail. The Gallardo takes race number one, followed by the Stoke and the Huracan. Aventador J moves into the pole position, that beautiful blue. Gallardo on the inside here. Let's see who wins it. Passing that Gallardo like a bullet. This Stoke takes the win in race number two. And then we have a collision between the Huracan and the Stoke at the finish line. No Aventador J. Huracan moves to the pole position. Let's see if he can take the win. Huracan showing his speed out there, takes the win in race number three, followed by the Estoke, and that is all, folks. Oh, here comes the Aventador. Does he cross the finish line? No, he does not make it. Estoke moves to the pole position. Will he pull ahead of the pack and see what happens right now? The Stoke blows it in the last lane, and the Gallardo takes the win in race number four. All right, even though the Gallardo put up a good battle, the Stoke wins it with 13 points. And we'll move on to the finals. The other two, other three will go back in their positions and go absolutely nowhere. A very poor performance by the Aventador. Sad day for the Huracan. Heading to the group two. All right, we got the white Giardo in the far lane. That's the pole position. The Reventon on his inside here. Hurricane behind the Reventon and a Mura in orange back in the back. Down over the dip they go. Let's see who wins it. In the last turn, the Hurricane takes the win over the Giardo and takes the win in race number one. After a dirty block, the Reventon crossed the finish side in third. And that's all, folks. All right, the Mura moves to the first place position. Let's see, it's the pole position. Let's see if he's got what it takes to win. The Mura getting extra fancy over that jump, landing in a 50-50 grind and crossed the finish line first, followed by the rest of the pack. All right, that Camel Huracan moves to the pole position in that far lane. Let's see what he can do.
Looks like the Huracan does scrape over the jump just a little bit, and the Mura on his tail. The Huracan pulls it off in this race and takes four points. The Red Reventon moves to the pole position. The Huracan on the inside here. The Mura pushing him down the track. Let's go! That Mura all over that Huracan again, and does not have enough. Huracan takes it. Reventon spins out on the last straightaway. All right, here is group two scores up on the board. And all you Huracan fans came out with 15 out of possible 16 points. That beautiful camel Huracan will be moving on to the next round. Unfortunately, these guys will be staying right here and not doing anything. They're going home packing. All right, let's head over to group number three. They're gonna hit the track right now. All right, we got the Sesta Elemento in the pole position, that far outside lane. That is the fastest club to start. Let's see if he can take it. The Eurus rolls over and does not make the jump. Sesta Elemento takes the win, followed by the Scion with pressure behind him. Eurus moves to the pole position. Sesto Elemento close to us in the inside lane here. Some massive air by the Eurus, but he rolls over, leaving the wind in the Sesto Elemento again, but the Scion is putting pressure on him. That is one battle right there, folks. Gallardo moves to the pole position, and the Eurus on the inside. Let's see if the Eurus can stay on all four wheels this race. The Eurus blows it again, and giving the Gallardo pressure is the Scion, but the Gallardo takes the win in this race. Cyan moves to the pole position with the Sesto Elemento behind him. Gallardo and Eurus in the inside lanes here. Let's see who wins it. Sesto Elemento all over the back of that Cyan, but does not pass. Cyan takes the win in race number four. All right, the Eurus scored a perfect score of zero, and we have a tie for first place between the Sesto Elemento and the Cyan with 13 points. They will run a one race head to head knockout battle. Because the Sesto Elemento won more races, he will get lane choice, which will be the outside lane in this one. Let's head to the track. That Sesto Elemento on the outside, Cyan on the inside. They're out of there. Let's see who wins it. And that Sesto Elemento means business, pulling a little drift to the last lane and taking the win in the tiebreaker. All right, you just saw it. Sesto Elemento wins the battle and he will move on to the finals against the Stoke and the Huracan. These guys are going home. Back to the bracket they go in the right order. All right, we're heading on to group number four. Let's head to the track. All right, we got the Centenario in the far lane. That's the pole position with Diablo close to us. The Sesto Lamento and the Huracan in the back. Centenario takes race number one. Sesto Lamento right on his tail. Diablo and Hurricane. Huracan come right across the finish line at third and fourth. Sesto Elemento moves to pole position. The Centenario on the inside here. The Centenario is fast. Let's see who takes this race number two. At the finish line, a photo finish with the Centenario wins race number three, the number two, and takes four more points. Race number three of group four, Huracan in the pole position, and the Sesto Elemento on the inside. Those two are fast, let's see who wins it. After a bump in the air, the Sesto Elemento takes race number four, followed by the Centenario, Huracan, and Kuntak. Diablo, oh Diablo, Kuntak moves to the pole position. Huracan there in front, 
Followed by the Cecil Lamento down on the jump, they go. The Cecil Lamento making moves from the back. Does not get first, but he gets second. With the Countach taking first. Our group number four is complete, and by one point, the Sesto Elemento takes the win and moves on to the finals. Two Sesto Elementos in the finals. These cars go packing. All right, finals, we have the Cyan, Huracan Coupe, Coupe, Sesto Elemento, and a Sesto Elemento. Were any of these cars in your top picks? Let me know in the comments. And if they weren't, drop which one you would like to win in the comments now. And they might end up in this box. Let's head to the track. All right, folks, the moment you've been waiting for is the finals. The Stoke in the far lane, the Hurricane in the close lane, both Sesto Elementos in the back. One Sesto Elemento flies off the track. After a tight battle, the Stoke beats out the Red Sesto Elemento, followed with Huracan in third. Sesto Elemento's in the far lane, the Stoke and the Huracan in the close lane. Let's see who wins, wins race number two. The Red Sesto Elemento blows it over the turn, leaving the Black Sesto Elemento to take the win in race two. Sesto Elemento's up front in the pole positions. They're out of there. Let's see who wins race three. There's Stoke all over that red Sesto Elemento's tail, but does not have enough to take the win. The red Sesto Elemento wins race three. Fourth and final race to Huracan in the pole position. The black Sesto Elemento in the close lane. He's down over the dip first. Let's see what happens. Hurricane Sesto, Sesto, Stoke. That was a close finish. All right, yo, what a finals. After four races, we have a tie for first place between the Stoke and the Red Sesto Elemento. All right, let's decide lane choice here. Who has more first place wins? It is a tie for first place wins. The Stoke has more second place wins. So the Stoke will get the outside lane. Let's head to the track. One race. Let's see who wins this Lamborghini tournament. Let's go. All right, folks, here's the tiebreaker. The winner of this one wins the Lamborghini tournament. Let's go. From the slower lane, the Sesto Lamento smokes the Estope and takes the win in the Lamborghini tournament. All right, there you have it. The winner of our Lamborghini 16 car tournament is the Red Sesto Elemento. You will go up there in the winner's slot. These two will go back into their respective slots in the loser's section of this tournament. There's your 16 cars. I hope you picked the winner. If you did pick the winner and stuck around this whole time, let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you in the next one.